Hello students, in the previous session we studied about negation of statements. Let us revise that. Look at this example. Are the following pairs of statements negations of each other? First, the number x is not a rational number. The number x is not an irrational number. The negation of the statement, the number x is not a rational number. That is, the number x is a rational number. The second statement is the same as x is not irrational. Hence, both statements are negations of each other. Look into the second one. The number x is a rational number. The number x is an irrational number. Look into the solution. The negation of this statement, the number x is not a rational number or we can say x is an irrational number. The second statement is same. Therefore, both are negations of each other. Now, students, let us introduce ourselves to special words or phrases. Some of the connecting words which are found in compound statements like and, or, etc. are often used in mathematical statements are called connectives. When we use these compound statements, it is necessary to understand the role of these words. Let us discuss about the word and. Let us look at the compound statement with and. P. A point occupies a position and its location can be determined. The statement can be broken into two component statement as Q. A point occupies a position. R. Its location can be determined. Here, we observe that both statements are true. Let us look at another statement P. 42 is divisible by 5, 6 and 7. This statement has following component statements. Q. 42 is divisible by 5. R. 42 is divisible by 6. S. 42 is divisible by 7. Here, we know that the first is false while the other two are true. We have the following rules regarding the connective AND. First, the compound statement with AND is true if all its component statements are true. Second, the component statement with AND is false if any of its component statement is false. This includes the case that some of its component statements are false or all of its component statements are false. Let us look into an example to understand this. Write the component statement of the following compound statements and check whether the compound statement is true or false. First, a line is straight and extends indefinitely in both directions. Second, 0 is less than every positive integer and every negative integer. Third, all living things have two legs and two eyes. Let us see the solution to this. First, the component statements here are P. A line is straight. Q. A line extends indefinitely in both directions. Both these statements are true. Therefore, the compound statement is true. Second, the component statements are P. 0 is less than every positive integer. Q. 0 is less than every negative integer. The second statement is false. Therefore, the compound statement is also false. Third, the two component statements are P. All living things have two legs. Q. All living things have two eyes. Both these statements are false. Therefore, 
the compound statement is false. Now, consider the following statement P, a mixture of alcohol and water can be separated by chemical methods. This sentence cannot be considered as a compound statement with and. Here, the word and refers to two things alcohol and water. Please note that do not think that a statement with and is always a compound statement as shown in the example. Therefore, the word and is not used as a connective. Now, let us study about the word or. Let us look at the following statement P. Two lines in a plane either intersect at one point or they are parallel. We know that this is a true statement. What does this mean? This means that if two lines in a plane intersect, then they are not parallel. Alternately, if the two lines are not parallel, then they intersect at a point. That is, this statement is true in both the situations. In order to understand statements with OR, we first notice that the word OR is used in two ways in English language. Let us first look at the following statement. P. An ice cream or Pepsi is available with a thali in a restaurant. This means that a person who does not want ice cream can have Pepsi along with thali or one if does not want Pepsi can have an ice cream along with thali. That is, who do not want a Pepsi can have an ice cream. A person cannot have both ice cream and Pepsi. This is called an exclusive or. Here is another statement. A student who has taken biology or chemistry can apply for MSc microbiology program. Here we mean that the students who have taken both biology and chemistry can apply for the microbiology program as well as the students who have taken only one of these subjects. In this case, we are using inclusive or. It is important to note the difference between these two ways because we require this when we check whether the statement is true or not. Let us look at an example. For each of the following statements, determine whether an inclusive OR or exclusive OR is used. Give reasons for your answer. First, to enter a country, you need a passport or a voter registration card. Look at the solution. Here, OR is inclusive since a person can have both a passport and a vote registration card to enter a country. Second, the school is closed if it is a holiday or a Sunday. Here also OR is inclusive since school is closed on holiday as well as on Sunday. Next, two lines intersect at a point OR are parallel. Here or is exclusive because it is not possible for two lines to intersect and parallel together. Now, let us look at the rules for compound statement with OR. First rule says a compound statement with an OR is true when one component statement is true or both the component statements are true. Second rule says a compound statement with an OR is false when both the component statements are false. For example, consider the following statement P. 
two lines intersect at a point or they are parallel. The component statements are Q, two lines intersect at a point, R, two lines are parallel. Then when Q is true, R is false and when R is true, Q is false. Therefore, the compound statement P is true. Consider another statement P, 125 is a multiple of 7 or 8. Its component statements are Q, 125 is a multiple of 7, R, 125 is a multiple of 8. Both Q and R are false. Therefore, the compound statement P is false. So, students, today we studied about compound statements using AND and OR. We also discussed about their rules. Now, it is time to take down the home assignment. Question, state whether the OR used in the following statements is exclusive or inclusive. Give reason for your answer. First, sun rises or moon sets. Second, to apply for a driving license, you should have a ration card or a passport. Third, all integers are positive or negative. In the next session, we shall continue. Thank you.